Hello, Dr. Mike and Ziegler here of Ziegler Chiropractic. Welcome to the movement of the month. And we talk a lot about activating the upper back and the body to open you up uh, because everything pulls you forward. Uh, this month we are actually going to look at uh, a specific move called cross crawl or bird dog, but it is about activating the entire back of the body to provide and create core stability. So it activates your erector, your erector spinae, which are the muscles that are run along the spine, your glutes, your hamstrings, those muscles that keep you upright. I also like this movement because it simulates crawling. And crawling is a vital movement for proper brain development when we are babies. And so it's great for babies and it's great for any age. So it's great for adults um, to activate the brain and get right and left activated through the body, top and bottom. All of that is really great for the brain. So let's get started with cross crawl. So <clears throat> you'll start with hands and knees. And what I want you to do is hands should be directly under your shoulders, knees should be directly under your hips, and you're going to slightly draw in your belly button to the front of your spine so you'll see the back flatten. So I don't want you to drop here, I don't want you rounded. Slightly engage so you flatten that back and you'll feel engagement through this area. I also want you to keep your, your hands, uh, fingers splayed, and you're going to grip the floor and when you grip the floor it's going to take pressure off the wrists and with cross crawl I want you to start with your lower body first but you're going to bring one leg straight back uh, foot is going to be flexed so your heel is pushing towards the back of the room and I want you to just hold this here now check in with your pelvis because it shouldn't be dropped and it shouldn't be lifted it should be balanced straight across the pelvis. Okay, making sure you're distributing your weight properly through the upper body on both left and right side. Now, it doesn't look like I'm doing much work, but I'm pushing my heel towards the back of uh, the wall and really activating the back of my body here. So this is work right now that I'm doing. Now, I want you to hold for 10 seconds and then you're gonna do the opposite leg, checking in with balance across the pelvis making sure you're stripping your weight um, evenly through the front or the top of the body, okay? Now, after you've done that, you're gonna check in with your arms, okay? When you lift your arms, it's going to be thumbs lifting towards um, doing a thumbs up sign. I don't want your shoulders up by your ear. I want you to drop your shoulder blade back and down and keep these arms straight, okay? Again, keeping this tucked through here. So just check with the arm because we're going to combine them and that's what's going to make it a cross crawl or bird dog, like a bird dog pointing. Uh, that's what's going to make the exercise cross crawl. So uh, <clears throat> you're gonna start with one leg. Again, make sure it's balanced across the way. Then you're going to add in your arm and you're gonna hold for 10 seconds, making sure you're breathing, making sure you're drawing in your pelvis and your head, you're gonna be about a 30 degree angle. I don't wanna drop forward, I don't want you here, okay? And then after 10 seconds, you're going to do the opposite, okay? And you're gonna hold here for 10 seconds. And I would, if you have a friend or a partner, um, somebody that you live with, a roommate, I would have them check your pelvis. But I want you to make sure it's level across the way. Uh, you want to make sure that you are activating and creating core stability in a balanced way and not stressing your body by you know, doing something that doesn't activate um, the body in, in an appropriate way. So that is cross crawl. The goal is to build up to three sets a day, doing 10 on each side. So it would be 20 total, um, but think 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And what you can do is you can start modifying, just focusing on the bottom half, so do the legs. And then you can do the arms and then you can combine them. And there's modified movements that you can add to cross crawl that will make it uh, more of an intermediate or advanced exercise. Uh, but I want you to start with foundational movements and then you can build from there. And I can certainly provide those modified movements um, down below or at a later date. So 
Good luck with the cross crawl. I would love to check your form when you're in the office next time and hear your takeaways as you start to implement this into your spinal hygiene. So appreciate you, Dr. Mike and Ziegler of Ziegler Chiropractic, and see you in the office.